Hate to be obstinate, but I don't think this part really works in the chronological Bible, First Chronicles 6. Now, I will say before I mention that, that obviously there were other things going on. Meanwhile, over with Aaron in Exodus 6, as we're reading Exodus 2 about Moses, and then it kind of mentions um, Aaron. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe they, if it they would have just been a little too... Uh, particular for them to cut verses in half or something maybe for this now I know that uh, Dr. Reese is going to make an updated version and I hope to interview him even here on YouTube not necessarily on this channel but another YouTube channel and you certainly will be made aware of that when it occurs if it occurs if the Lord wills but here it says but Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of the offering or and his sons offered upon the altar of the burnt offering and upon the altar of incense, and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy. But see, I you know, I don't know, were they doing this at this time, where Moses was still basically a child? Now it'd be interesting, as I've shown here in the Reese Chronological Bible, you can actually see the dates by a uh, scholars who have uh, taken note of these things of the sons of Aaron and you can figure out by looking at these dates how old Aaron's sons were well actually I think I just turned the page back when it actually mentions it uh, right here you know and uh, let's see Aaron's family okay right there and then you can see like how old Moses was when he slayed the Egypt slew the Egyptian and you wonder, you know, I mean, Aaron and, and uh, you know, if his sons were old enough, were, I guess, carrying out the work of God, I guess. Or, once again, were they? Because there it says at the end, according to all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. And then, you know, Moses wasn't doing any commanding at this point, especially at the point where he slays the Egyptians. So, that part of it certainly doesn't quite go with where we are here, you know, but, uh, oh well, once again, makes you look, you know, makes you pay attention to these things, makes you realize the fact that, hey, Aaron was a bit older than Moses, and he was, he was doing, you know, something there, possibly the work of God, even before Moses came on the scene, that's why we must study.